Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This past Friday, Days of Our Lives did something unusual. The show concluded with a cliffhanger that wasn't actually a cliffhanger, at least not for us. It was successful. Justin received a phone call that nearly stopped his heart, and he had to inform the gathering family that Victor's plane had gone missing, which we all knew meant his death, but his family hadn't yet realized. It was effective not because we were concerned about Victor's safety, but because we were concerned about his family's safety. While Victor has spent the most of his time off-screen for some years now, his name has always been on his family's lips as he pushed and tugged Titan CEOs and played chess with the business world. There's a moment of recognition and devastation of what could possibly be, what could possibly have happened. Wally Kurth tells Soap Opera Digest in their latest issue as the Kyriakis family waits for news of the jet. It's very emotional. Victor has governed the family with an iron grip, yet in many ways, that family began with him in 1985 and Justin in 1987. At many ways, the two knew each other better than anybody else, and Justin was the one who lived at the Kyriakis mansion with Victor. So it's only natural that he's the one who takes on the responsibility of holding everyone and everything together as Victor's plane goes missing and their world falls. Justin needs to stay strong, Clough says, especially for Maggie, who is very worried. Justin is the one who tries to be the strong, stable one, and that makes intuitive sense to everyone who has watched Days of Our Lives over the years, not just the family. Justin should be the one to break the news and keep everyone together. Victor's children are Philip and Beau, but Beau was reared as a Brady, and Philip is only half Justin's age, and tormented in ways his uncle has never been. For a long time Justin, whose parents died before we met, and Victor, who was childless, were each other's entire family. Back when neither man had anyone, Justin came to Selim 35 years ago to be by his uncle's side. Victor was essentially Justin's father, Kurth tells Tsauti. He was reared by him. To him, he is everything. He served as Justin's paternal figure. Despite the fact that he drove Justin insane, he was always there for him. Now, it's really Justin and Maggie holding on to each other. That's pretty much all we need to know about the Kyriakis family's future. There will undoubtedly be squabbles over the inheritance, the will, and the corporate world, but there can only be one heir apparent, Justin. He's the only one with the temperament, expertise, and respect to bring the family together. Everyone else is too young, too inexperienced, and too explosive. While Justin has never been interested in becoming Titan's CEO, Victor has not run the company directly for many years. He was the man behind the curtain, the one his family revered, sometimes unwillingly, and yes, dreaded. Justin may not be afraid, but he can command respect. He can let others manage Titan while assuming Victor's role as the one wielding authority since he can keep the family in line. He and Maggie were Victor's closest companions. Maggie was the one he chose to be Titan's manager, and Justin was the son who had spent the previous 15 years by Victor's side. If they band together now, albeit not sexually as Maggie and Victor did, they can usher in a new Kyriakis era and ensure that the family does not implode in the aftermath of Victor's death, but instead comes together stronger than ever. The Monday episode of Days of Our Lives was difficult to watch. Maggie, Justin, and Victor's family became increasingly concerned as they sought to figure out what had happened to his missing plane, and they investigated every possible possibility. It wasn't until the very end that Justin learned from Shane that the wreckage had been discovered in the Mediterranean, and there have been no reports of survivors. But Justin might want to put Shane and the entire ISA on speed dial, because the family discovered that, while Victor wasn't supposed to be home until today from visiting Bo, he'd left three days earlier. Furthermore, he appeared distracted by something, according to Hope. Everyone, even Maggie, was surprised. So, where was Victor before he vanished? Well, he might be visiting any number of destinations. First and foremost, there is the obvious. 
Victor decided to pay a visit to another son, Philip, after checking in on one. And this could have disastrous effects. Kate and Victor wanted Philip to obtain mental help, so he fled Salem after faking his own death. And from what we've heard, it seemed to be working. We know Philip is returning, and we've assumed they'll be healthy together again. But that may not be the case if Victor dies on his way home from a visit. Sean has been grappling with the guilt of placing his father in a coma. If Philip believes he was somehow responsible for Victor's death, it might send him sliding and destroy a lot of the work he's put in over the last few years to get better. In fact, it could make him much more dangerous. But what if Victor wasn't there to see Philip? What if he went missing for another reason? Could an old Kyriakis foe have resurfaced and forced him to deal with him? A former lover seeking reconnection, perhaps lay a bombshell on him, such as the knowledge that Bo and Philip are not his only children, the first step, it appears, will have to be to check in with Kate. She is the only one who knows if Victor paid a visit to their son. According to spoilers, that won't happen until at least Thursday. If she verifies that's where Victor went, we might be in for a surprise when guilt-ridden Philip returns. But what if it wasn't? You can almost bet that wherever Victor was, the truth was going to be massive, dramatic, and game-changing. Because Victor travels frequently, and who knows what terrible secrets are about to be revealed if he's been missing for years with no one knowing where he is. What are your thoughts? Victor, where have you been the last three days? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel, and don't miss any update. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel, and don't miss any update.